This is a special report from ABC News Digital. Hello, I'm Ty Hernandez in New York with this ABC News Digital Special Report. Speaking gibberish with his hands, that is what experts say about the man who said he provided sign language translation on the stage during Nelson Mandela's memorial service. Standing shoulder to shoulder with world leaders, the man's gestures were apparently all made up and he wasn't signing any language at all. The BBC's Ross has more, Will Ross has more from Johannesburg. Empathy he was one of the busiest men on the planet. No, not Barack Obama, the man next to him doing the sign language, interpreting the speeches at the memorial ceremony for Nelson Mandela. He did it for hours. But deaf people started complaining over the internet that they were missing out. The chair of the Deaf Society of South Africa came in to tell us what he made of the ceremony. No, I'm not getting anything. No, he's showing some, some gesture, but it doesn't have meaning. I don't know what this means. So-called interpreter. So together we watched one of Nelson Mandela's grandchildren deliver a praise poem. Um, it's a poem, isn't it? So um, there should be facial expressions. There's even no facial expressions. Lucas even wonders if a rocking horse was mentioned in the poem because the interpreter did the sign for one. Many people had hoped that there'd be plenty of singing and dancing to celebrate the life of Nelson Mandela. They weren't really ready for all those long speeches at the ceremony. But the bigger headache now for the South African government, which organised the event, is to explain how on earth this man got the job as an interpreter. Watching a clip from local TV, it's clear the two interpreters are on a completely different page. An extraordinary case of lost in translation. Will Ross, BBC News, Johannesburg. For more on this, I'm joined now by the president of the National Association of the Deaf, Chris Wagner, who is talking with us via an interpreter. Thank you, Chris, so much for joining us. What was the signer doing uh, that made people think he was a fake? Well, actually, you know, he was using gestures that were not signs at all. Normally, they use a South African sign language. S-A-S-L. Here in the United States, we use American Sign Language, but we asked colleagues and friends in South Africa, and they said that these were not South African Sign Language, which upset a lot of people, uh, somebody who took advantage of the stage time and not signing, but just gesturing. Uh, it is something, you know, that we wanted to be clear. You know, we point out that we appreciate the fact that an interpreter was being provided as an event like this for Nelson Mandela at his memorial service. But the concern is this was not the right person doing the, the, the actual job. Uh, it's important to vet and to ensure qualifications before making a selection. Even though sign language can differ from country to country, was the fact that that gentleman had no facial expressions a sign that something was wrong? Oh, absolutely. You could tell clearly that something wasn't right. Facial expressions plus the appropriate sign choices, it looks like there were very minor gestures being used and the presenters went on to speak and speak and speak and there were not the equivalent number of signs, if you will. Uh, and speaking with the South African community members, we found out that that was an incorrect language. Is there a feeling or a sense among the deaf community that this was a great disrespect? Very disrespectful, absolutely. Uh, most definitely, it is, you know, having access to communication is very important and to have a qualified individual who can sign appropriately and gather the information and be a part of the event. But because of this fake uh, language, there was a lot of miss. And so it was an insult to the deaf community. How rare is something like this? Have you ever seen anything like this before? To be honest with you, uh, you know, over time, this is definitely a rare event. You know, somebody to get up in front of the world media and to put on uh, an event that, you know, you wouldn't think would be caught. Uh, the point is, it is a rare happening. Uh, you know, we emphasize, you know, having interpreters at events like this now, we've learned a lot, those of us who are not very familiar with signing, we've learned a lot through this story, particularly that di different countries have their own version of sign language based on their own language. But uh, from what I hear, English has become more common 
a sort of de facto language in sign. Is there any convergence in the global deaf community to unite over one language, or do people feel as if the system right now is, is better? As you mentioned, each country does have its own form of sign language. There is an international sign uh, that can be used between deaf people from different countries uh, using international signs, but not everyone is familiar uh, with that language. But each country does have their own and they cherish their own language. So it's considered perhaps a positive that the, there's no one universal sign, that, that each country has their own language, so to speak. Correct. Okay, well, Chris Wagner, it was uh, great communicating with you and speaking with you, and thanks to your interpreter, Aaron, as well. We've been uh, communicating with the National Association of the Deaf President, Chris Wagner, again, thanks for joining us. And you can, of course, get a complete recap right here on abcnews.com. For now, I'm Ty Hernandez in New York with this ABC News Digital Special Report.